Excuse me, Miss Plunkett. Oh, thank you, Nebraska. You're a gentleman. <laughs> How are you, Bill? How are you, Margo? Large new man, ain't he? Yeah. Sort of had an idea a change might prove useful. Postmaster agreed with me. Hope he had better luck than the last one. Had to bury him. No trace up to now of the killers, is there, Sheriff? No. Took after them with a posse, but they just disappeared in the thin air. It's getting me down. Me too. I'm relying on you, Ed. If any road agents show up, unlimber that rifle. Ask questions after. What's this about road agents, Marshal? You expecting a hold up? We things have been going on around here. Don't do no harm to be expecting, ma'am, just in case. Well, hold up or no hold up, I've got to get over to Winston Forks. My sister's going to have a baby, and she can't have it without me. Well, I hope the stork has been advised of the setup, ma'am. Oh, <laughs> go away with you, Marshal. Nebraska, get going. I'm in a hurry. Yes, sir, Mrs. Puckett. Get up. Everything all right, Bill? Right as rain. Got a new guard, but the boy will take care of him. I hope there won't be any shooting. No more than necessary, Mal. Unless somebody gets out of order. Maybe we could have found a better way. What, for instance? I don't know. That's right, Mal. You don't. But in case you want to back down, I can ride out and call the boys off. Huh? Then you can do some explaining about that mortgage you plastered on the anchor. You signed Judith's name was sure pretty to look at. Even fool me. Bill, somebody might hear you. Stop your moaning. Listen to what I... You sure you shipped that 5000 on the stage? You know I did, Bill. Uh. I shipped it to the Monroe outfit at Winston Fork. It belongs to them. You mean it did belong to them. It's all so simple, Mel. The boys pick it off the stage mixed up. And nobody's the wiser. up here and shove it back pronto. Now you just, just sit quiet and make no mistakes. just blew the pines near the ridge. Grabbed the mail pouch, single-handed, and got clean away. A lone hand? Yep. He's all alone, and he sure did work fast. Had some shooting? Yes, sir. Uh, three gents happened along and took out after him. They opened up on him, and you know, that rascal blowed him right smack dab out of the saddle. Bap, bap, bap. Marshal, I'm glad you're here. You can see for yourself what goes on in these parts. Stage held up right under our very noses. Something ought to be done about it, Sheriff. Yes, sir, and right now. That bandit won't get far. 
I'd round up a party and take after it. I've got to get over to Winston Forks. Rasky, hightail the lady over to Winston Forks before it's too late. All right, Martin. Yeah! <laughs> Trouble finding the cabin? Uh, none at all. Tom Hobbs gave me your letter and the rest was easy. So you held up the stage this morning, eh? How did you know it was me? Well, three and one is four. It always has been. Three from four is one. What are you driving at? Three men knocked off their horses and one got away. Figured it might be you. <laughs> well, those gents were aiming to hold up the stage themselves. You sort of changed their mind for me. Eh? Sort of. This job in Denton is not going to be easy, son. What's the setup? Stage holdups, cattle rustling, coming off mighty regular. Being marshal, they watch me like a hawk and things happen miles away. They must be mighty smart. Correct. Well, that's where you come in. You're going to visit an old friend. I am? Yep. Yeah. Bill Strong at the Anchor J Ranch, just outside of town. Bill will give you all the help he can. Well, I guess that's about all I need to know, sir. I'll do what I can. That ought to be enough. Now, if you'll break out with that mail pouch, I'll take that money along and deliver it where it belongs. Yes. I came to Alabama with my banjo on the knee. I'm going to Louisiana, my true love for to see. It rained all night today, I left the weather, it was dry. The sun so hot, I froze to that Susanna, don't you cry. Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me. What's the matter to say? Hmm. Addressing Mr. Bill Strong? Well, you can leave off the mister and still be correct. I'm Steve Hayden. Well, Hayden, I've been expecting you for quite a spell. I'm sure glad to see you. Thank you, sir. Who's that over there with Willie? North? It's mighty snug and comfortable here. Yes, sir. Comfort's my middle name. Set. Thanks. Are you a good liar? There ain't none better. Well, getting down to cases, Mr. Strong. From now on, you're an old friend of my dad. You fought Indians together. I'm just stopping over for a few days. Get the idea? I get the idea, all right, but that Mr. Strong don't set so well. I'm Cousin Willie to my old friends. All right, and it's Cousin Willie from now on. Well, I think I'm going to like it here. I'm going to like having you here, too. Come on, I'll show you where you bed down. Good.
Well, there she is. Any time you're ready to turn in, I'll book over young. Our ranch has been rushing pretty near bare, Stock. Nothing been done about it? Can't do nothing about it. Them rustlers are cager and pet coon. I see. And then there. Well, I think I'll ride into town and have a look around. See what I can stumble on to. I'll go with you. No, I think I'd better go alone. You being with me might shut some mouths I don't want shut. Yes, that's right. <laughs> We're getting off to a right smart start, ain't we? We sure are. And head in the Indians. Oh, you can rest easy. I'll have plenty to say about them Indians when the time comes. Good. Well, I guess I'll move you along. Hey, uh, what's the idea of the powder horn? Oh, that will uh, keep my bitters in it so as to have it handy when my stomach acts up. <laughs> well, so long, Cousin Willie. So long. I guess he didn't want nothing important. Artega drives her over from the station. The horses get out of control. Ortega does all he can to stop them, but it's no use. They bolt over the cliff into the river, but jumps at the last minute to save his own skin. And it's awful sad about Judith. But I don't like it, Bill. I don't like it. Well, maybe you'd like it better if Judith came here and caught you red-handed. That'd tie me in, and then we'd both be stretching a rope. <laughs> no, 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 Bill. Uh, it's deplorable, but are you sure it'll be an accident? How many times have I got to tell you? Here she comes. I'll come back quiet like on Thursday stage. Good. I hope I'll have something interesting to report. You will. And good luck, son. <laughs> Thanks. I might need it. <laughs> So long. So long. Don't you? Oh, yes, Ortega, certainly. How are you? Fine. Ortega's always that way. Have you seen Cousin Willie? Oh, that Cousin Willie, he forget to come and get you. So, Mr. Cult, he send Ortega. Well, Cousin Willie won't be so glad to see me after I dress him down. Ortega takes the bag. Thanks. Eh? Look down below and see what's going on. Yes, please do. They're all 
right, ma'am. All three of them passing out like water dogs. Oh, I'm so glad. Are you feeling better? I'm all right now, thanks to you. You don't need to thank me. It was a pleasure. Oh. Oh. Oh, well, it was really I that was lucky. Have it your own way, ma'am. I'm Judith Lennon. I'm mighty glad to know you. My name's Hayden, Steve Hayden. How do you do, Mr. Hayden? It's a mighty sad bit of driving, I caused it. Oh, those bronks are only half broken. Ortega did his best. Well, if that's his best, I'd sure hate to see his worst. Why, what do you mean? Well, nothing. If you're going over to Denton and don't mind riding side saddle, I can horse you up behind me and we can get going. I don't mind at all. Up you go. The team ran away and Ortega couldn't hold them. If Mr. Hayden here hadn't seen it, I don't know what might have happened. Did you get Miss Judith out of the rig? Just before it went over. Give me a hand, Hayden. We owe you a heap for saving Miss Judith. We certainly do, Mr. Hayden. I'll never forget it. Thank you, gents. There wasn't much to it. Now, you come along, Miss Judith. You must be terribly upset after your experience. Come now. <laughs> Thanks again, Mr. Hayden. Are you stopping in Denton? Not exactly, but I'll be around. I hope so. Yeah. No, no. Goodbye. Now, Goodbye, ma'am. Come along, Miss Judith. Come along. There, there. Now, look out. Oh, dear, that was terribly strange, my poor child. Where are you from, Aiden? Over yonder. Where you bound? Over yonder. Where are you stopping? With friends. Stopping along? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. Nice bit of riding you pulled off today, Hayden. Thanks. The name is Waters. Clem Waters. I'm mighty glad to know you, Waters. Meet up with Joe Peters here. Howdy, Joe. You boys working? Not right now, we ain't. Well, I might have a job for you in a day or so if I decide to settle down. Good. We'd like to ride for you. Where are you aiming on locating? Well, I haven't made up my mind yet. Well, if you want a couple of punches, we'll ride for you on a square. Me and Joe here is just what you're looking for. I sort of had that feeling when I met up with you. Thanks, Hayden. Of all the bungling, loco, jug-headed half-breeds I ever met up with, you're it. But, Senor Bill, I feel my pooch is get caught. Everything is all right. All right? You call letting that fella grab Judas out of the buckboard the last minute, all right? But I don't see him. My foot is get caught, and when I look up, he is there. Well, why didn't you do something about it? But, Senor Bill, I can't do anything. My foot is get caught. You've told me that a hundred times. See, I know. And the water is terrible cold. Yeah. I think I get sick, huh? You'll get plenty sick if you make any more mistakes. But I don't make no mistakes, Senor Bill. My food, she is get caught. Get out. See, si, Senor Bill. Thank you very much, Mrs. Watkins, for driving me out. I do appreciate it. No trouble at all, honey. Goodbye. Bye. Get up. Judy! Well, Judith, honey, where'd you come from? I'm sure glad to see you. Cousin Willie. Uh-oh. Why didn't you meet the train? Answer me that. Meet the train? I didn't even know you was coming. Now, Cousin Willie, I wrote you a letter weeks ago. Did you? Well, that's funny. I didn't get no letter. Honest. Maybe it was on one of them stages that was held up. There's been a heap of that lately. Hmm. Well, anyway, I'm here now, Cousin Willie, so we'll just forget about it. Oh, it's nice to be back. 
I've missed the ranch. Cousin Willie? Come here. Now, would you mind telling me why you're using my room? Well, you, you see, it's... It's on account of my rheumatism. It's been bothering me, and, and my room's a little damp. Damp rheumatism. You get those things cleared out of there immediately. All right, honey. Oh, I plum forgot to tell you. I've got a friend visiting me. I'm not at all interested in any of your old cronies. He ain't old. He's young and good-looking, too. How nice. Might I inquire his name? Name's Steve Hayden, and you'll like him. Steve Hayden? Yep. His dad and me fought the Indians. I saved his life once when a squaw was just about to stab him. Cousin I... Willie, get those things cleared out. Yes, honey. Them Indians were sure wearing a heap of war paint. Cousin Willie? Yes, honey. Steve Hayden. Thank you very much, Senor. Uh, you like Cosita, no? 
I like Rosita, yes. <laughs> you kind of got me dropping in on me like this. Well, if it isn't my old friend, the high diver. Rosita belonged to Ortega. Does the lady know about it? She knows who leave town now. Pronto! Clem, pick up his gun. Looks to me like this gent is a little hot-headed. Maybe he needs cooling off. Run him outside, boys. Oh, no, no, no. Senor, do me the big favor. Shoot that beast. Boys, he's mighty fond of water. Pick him up and chuck him in the trough. Orders is orders. Grab it, Senor, look, get off. He's back in on the step. He's still a little hot. You better dunk him again. There he goes. No, 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 Not to my way of thinking. He bore down on me and ran into a little bad luck, that's all. Jawed on you? Yep. But I'm right peaceful, or they'd be carrying him out by now. What? Well, I hope you give us that call to ride for you right soon, Hayden. Better sleep with the ears out of your blankets, just in case. Sure will. <laughs> well, I gotta be going. So long. So long. Good night, senor. Buenas noches, Chiquita Mia. me out. <laughs> Boy, I had a whooping time in town tonight. You should have been with me. I met up with a Spanish whipper wheel that slung a mean pair of casamets. And boy, Dan, those senoritas sure know how to get around. <laughs> the next time you're in town, drop in at Macy's. It won't do you a bit of harm. <laughs> I don't think she carries a knife. <laughs> Cousin Willie, aren't you listening? Now, it's like I'm wasting my breath. Sure seems like a lot. <laughs> well, it was fun anyhow. Spanish Whippoorwill. What are you doing in here? Sleeping. What do you think? Well, who's in the other room? The owner of this outfit. The owner? I thought you owned it. Who, me? No. Well, well when did he arrive? He? It ain't a he. It's a she. A she? Oh. I did. I... I didn't think you would. I'm sorry about last night. Oh, that's quite all right. It was a perfectly natural mistake. Oh, thank you, ma'am. The name is Judith. <laughs> yes, ma'am, it's Judith. You know, I'm a little puzzled. Uh, about what, Miss Judith? A Spanish whippoorwill. What does it look like? 
Oh, well, that's a very rare bird. There's not many of them left. Well, only a few folks has ever seen one. Oh. Well, it's the first time I've ever had any kind of a bird with castanets. Uh, here you be, Judith. I want you to meet up with an old friend of mine. We yes, uh, we do. You have? Well, Steve's dad and me fought the Indians together. I saved his life once. Yes, sir. An arrow was going straight for his heart. I reached out and stopped it in midair. I was awful fast in my hands in them days. I stopped that arrow just six inches from his heart. Now, what in the world is all this talk about Indians? Well, you see, Marshal Court sent me here to see if I could root out all those responsible for the crooked work that's been going on around here. Marshal Court? He sent me sort of secret-like, so I fixed it up with Cousin Willie and about my father and the Indians so no one would suspect. Oh, I see. Well, you're more than welcome, Mr. Hayden. We certainly need someone. Oh, Miss Judith! What is it, Lon? A hundred head of two-year-old horses rustled out of the high meadow last night. A hundred head? Yes, ma'am, no trace of them. You mean to say no one was riding herd last night after all the rustling that's been going on around here? Well, no, we figured that sort of stuff was done with. You're not very good at figuring, are you? Maybe you quit school too soon. Huh? Now listen, you and your friends, they are not working here any longer. Now get going. Well, Miss Judith, you ain't gonna let him... You heard what he said, now clear out. Mr. Hayden's in charge now, Lon. What he says goes. Hope everything turns out all right. I'll try and get your hope for you, Miss Judith. Don't get up, Jerry. Just take it easy. What I've got to say won't take long. Go right ahead, Aiden. I'm going to run things out at the Lantry Ranch for a spell. Well, that is new. And maybe it is, and maybe it isn't. But get this straight, Jerry. I'm listening. There's been a lot of rustling going on out there. I know, but I done all I could. Well, I'm warning you and anybody else that might be interested, that if there's any more of it, somebody better be ready to bury the dead. Oh, yeah, Aiden. You start any cattle shooting and I'll jail you. Listen, Sheriff. Well, so long. Oh, and you might pass a word along about burying the dead. Senor Bill! Senor Bill! What is it? That man who threw me in the trough, he is here. Shut up. Si, senor. Hey, Bill! I know, I know. He was here and he just left. Here? Yeah. You and Ortego take after him. That gent's about due to disappear entirely. Si, senor. Up to looking for a job, nothing against that, is there? No, but you were headed toward the Lantry Ranch, and that's bad. Now get on your feet. Get over that horse.
unsaddle this horse. I'll bring him on my arm. You won't be needing him where you're going. Now get moving. Stop him! Stop him! Stop him! Oh, get out of my way. Quick, quick, my back is broke. Who done this? Hayden. Hayden? Yeah, he jumped us for no reason. You almost killed Ortega. You say he done this for no reason? See? Yeah. He was gonna shoot us, but changed his mind. He said he was out to get you, Sheriff. Me. You hear that, folks? He's threatened me. I'm the sheriff here. And all I am, there'll be none of this high-handed bullying of innocent folks. It's him or me now, and I'm sending him fair warning to keep out of town. If he don't, I'll shoot him on sight. Anybody got any objections? Come on. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. Take a look at that. Low down hound. Where'd you get it? Stick it in the chopping block. Sneaked out in the night, I take it. Well, that's his style. What you gonna do? I'm going in and see what the sheriff has got on his mind. I'm going with you. No. But this is just between the sheriff and me. I want to see fair play. It won't be play, cousin Willie. Now, don't say anything to Miss Judith about it. Understand? Yes. down to the sheriff's office and tell him that man he's expecting is here. Yes, sir. Hey, Sheriff! Uh -huh. That man you're expecting is here? The minute the gets the end of hits rail, we all blast him. You gentlemen have any ideas about living longer? Drop those guns. Raise your hands. Go on out that door. You too. Pick up the sheriff and chuck him in the trough. Oh, now, wait, wait, now, wait, I tell you. Now, wait, wait. You can't do this to me. I know you mean. What do you mean? You can't do this to me. I'll get you for this, Hayden. Dug him again. He ain't worth killing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe 
You're right, Bill, but... Uh... Quiet. I'll do the talking. We got to work fast. Tomorrow, Lon's going over to Lycan's barn in the buttes and get things squared away. From now on, anything we got to say will be said here. I take a no chance until Hayden's taken care of. There she be, the old Lycan's barn. Well, let's have a look. door hasn't been here long. That padlock looks sort of new. I don't. It's kind of strange locking things up around here. You might stand looking into. Oh, Clem, throw your rope over that hay boom while I tie up. Right. Keep watch. If I see anybody heading this way, I'll play the camels coming on the weezer here. Cousin Willie, I don't know what I'd do without you. <laughs> nice bit of roping, Clem. I couldn't have done better myself. Sure does. <sighs> well, there they are, just like I told you. The Anchor J horses. You mean Long was in on it with Culp and the Sheriff? Yep. But we can't tie them up with it until we get more on them. Look, change the Anchor J to the Circle Cross. A nice bit of crooked branding, I call it. Well, dog got right when I need it. And them dog gold screws never will hold when you need them. Out we go. All right, you boys start burning down the other end. The camels are coming. Hurry! Hurry! The camels are coming. Hurry! Hurry! The camels are coming.
suerte de ahí, muchachos. Hayden? Sí, it is Hayden. He's in the barn and sees the horses with the brands changed. In the barn, eh? Sí, he knows. We better run away now. Quick, before he comes. There ain't gonna be no running away. We're sticking right here. Oh, what are you gonna do, Bill? Nothing could be sweeter. You all swear you caught Hayden in the barn changing the brands on the horses he rustled from the Landry Ranch. You tried to bring him in and he shot you down in cold blood. See, we swear it is true. Where's Lon? Hayden shoot him down. We'll hang a murder on him, too. Ortego, you ride out and spread the news that we're calling a vigilante's meeting. Si, Senor B. Now I've got him where I want him. Are you sure, Bill? Oh. in for safekeeping. But I still don't understand. It's, it's just like I told you, Miss Judith. Culp and the sheriff are behind everything crooked going on around here. Culp and the sheriff? Oh, are you sure, Steve? I thought so from the jump. And your trusty ex-foreman got unhappy about the whole setup and squealed. Didn't you? Well, he lost his watch again. That's bad. Yeah, yeah. That's better. We'll take this gin into town and corral those other crooks. I sent Clem into town to have a look around. Looks like he's got something on his mind. Steve, they're holding a vigilante's meeting in town, fixing to lynch you. Whose idea is that? The sheriff. Said he caught you changing the brand on that ruffled stock over at Lycan's barn. I'm mighty smart changing things around that way. <laughs> That's what happened. I'll swear to it. You boys get into town and delay that vigilante meeting. Marshal Court is coming in on the downstage, and we'll hold a vigilante meeting of our own. Right. Grab the buckboard. We haven't got time to saddle up. riding folks in Denton with spurs is a rustling murderer. Here's living proof of what I'm saying. He wounded these boys here and killed Long. Well, they run into him at Lycan's barn, a changing brands on stock he'd rustled. And I'm mighty free in stating it was him that held up them stagecoaches so frequent. No place in Denton for a thieving, sneaking, cowardly murderers. No. <laughs> if he's out at the Lancer Ranch, let us go be. Yeah. Wait a minute, folks. Now don't get hasty. If you're bent on hanging him, I ain't taking no part in it. Of course, I know there ain't no use trying to stop you. No. no. Let us go and give it to him. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> Here, take care of this gent and don't let him get away. I've got a little rounding up to do. Why ain't you blame? Big Bill makes me do it. It's all he is doing. Give your breath, gents. You and your friends. Son, you did a much. He's got a job. He's I never dispute a lady's word. And since I'm working for you, I suggest we go over to Lacking's barn and start riding those horses home. <laughs> <laughs>